Welcome to Global Hub Updates. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Tonight, we take you beneath the bustling streets of Metro Manila, a city that never seems to sleep, where the glow of headlights and neon signs stretch for miles. Beneath this vibrant surface, something extraordinary is happening. Deep underground, a revolution is underway, one that promises to change the way millions of Filipinos live, work, and move. For decades, the idea of a subway was just a distant hope for those trapped in endless gridlock. Every day, commuters spent hours in traffic, losing precious time with family and friends. Now, that hope is finally becoming reality. This is the story of the Metro Manila subway, the country's very first underground railway, a project that marks a turning point in Philippine transportation history. It's a project of immense scale and ambition, promising to transform daily life in one of the world's most densely populated cities. The subway will connect key business districts, residential areas, and government centers, making travel faster and more efficient. Construction sites are springing up from Valenzuela in the north to Pase in the south, marking the birth of a vast subterranean highway that will soon crisscross the metropolis. Soon, hundreds of thousands of people will travel daily beneath the city, bypassing the chaos and congestion above. Imagine a future where your daily commute is measured in minutes, not hours. This isn't just about trains or tunnels, it's about reclaiming time, reducing stress, and opening up new opportunities for work, education, and leisure. It's about giving people their lives back. Each milestone, from the arrival of massive tunnel boring machines to the completion of the first underground passages, is a victory for every commuter who has ever dreamed of a better way to travel. The journey to this point has been long and challenging, but now, momentum is building. Every day progress is visible, and hope is growing. With strong support from the government and international partners, the project is pushing forward, overcoming obstacles and setting new standards for infrastructure in the Philippines. We'll take you inside the tunnels, explore the cutting-edge technology, powering this massive undertaking, and reveal what this so-called project of the century truly means for the future of Metro Manila. The ground is shifting, literally and figuratively, as Metro Manila enters a new era of connectivity, progress, and hope. Welcome to the Metro Manila subway, a bold step forward for the city and a new chapter in the story of the Philippines. Where will the subway go? This is a question on the minds of millions of Metro Manila residents as the city prepares for a transformation unlike any before. Its 33-kilometer route is both ambitious and strategic, carving a path beneath the city's busiest and most vital corridors. Starting in Valenzuela in the north, the subway cuts through the heart of Quezon City, passes the bustling commercial hub of Ortigas, weaves through the financial powerhouse of Makati, and continues on to Taguig and Pasay. Metro, Manila's economic lifeblood. Each stop is carefully chosen to maximize connectivity and convenience. The line is designed to connect the city's busiest districts, linking work, home, and leisure. It will serve as a vital artery, making daily commutes smoother and more predictable for millions of people. One of its most critical features is a direct connection to Ninoy Aquino International Airport, a first for the city's rail network. For the first time, travelers and airport workers will have a fast, reliable rail link to the city's core, eliminating the stress of unpredictable road traffic and long taxi lines. Trains will run up to 80 kilometers per hour, slashing travel times, Quezon City to the airport in about 40 minutes. What once took over an hour, or even two during rush hour, will soon be a quick, comfortable ride. The project is being built in phases, with the East Valenzuela to Ortega segment prioritized for early relief. This means that even before the entire line is finished, commuters in these areas will start to experience the benefits. This phased approach means commuters benefit sooner, even as construction continues elsewhere. It's a smart way to address urgent transportation needs while building for the future. The subway's route isn't just a line on a map, it's a new backbone for Metro Manila, connecting people, businesses, and opportunities across the metropolis. It's a game-changer for daily life and business, promising to ease congestion, boost productivity, and improve quality of life for everyone. The city's future is being redrawn, one station at a time. Each new stop represents progress, hope, and a step toward a more connected Metro Manila. The Metro Manila subway is set to redefine how the capital moves, ushering in a new era of mobility efficiency and urban transformation for generations to come. 
Meet the real stars of the underground world, the Tunnel Boring Machines, or TBMs. These engineering marvels are the unsung heroes working tirelessly beneath our feet, out of sight but never out of action. These massive 100-meter-long giants carve the subway's path, inch by inch beneath the city. Each TBM is a moving factory, equipped with powerful rotating cutter heads that chew through soil, rock, and anything else in their way. Named Kaun Laran and Perlas Nangsilangan, these machines are more than just equipment. They symbolize progress, hope, and national pride for the Philippines. Their names reflect the aspirations of a nation moving forward. Lowered into deep shafts, TBMs grind through layers of soil and rock, excavating and building tunnel walls as they go. The process is continuous, with the machines working day and night, rain or shine. Each advance means a new section of tunnel is born, proof that the dream of a modern subway is steadily becoming reality. Every breakthrough is celebrated as a major milestone. As of late 2025, several TBMs are active across Metro Manila, with the first tunnels already completed in the north. The scale of the operation is immense, involving hundreds of workers and engineers. The process is a marvel of engineering. Dig, remove debris, install concrete rings, and repeat. Each step is carefully coordinated to ensure safety and precision, with teams working in shifts around the clock. Engineers monitor ground conditions constantly, adjusting for Metro Manila's complex geology. They use advanced sensors and real-time data to guide the TBM safely through unpredictable ground. Despite challenges, pandemic delays, right-of-way issues and difficult terrain, the TBMs are relentless. Their progress is a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Every meter gained is a step closer to a modern, efficient subway system that will transform how people move around the city. The city above may be chaotic, filled with traffic and noise, but below, a new future is quietly taking shape, one that promises faster, safer, and more reliable transportation for millions. The TBM's steady progress is a daily reminder that transformation is underway. Each day brings the city closer to a new era of connectivity and convenience. The subway is being built, one concrete ring at a time, each segment a building block for the future of Metro Manila. A project this massive needs serious backing, and it's Japan that's making it possible. The Japan International Cooperation Agency, or JICA, is providing billions in loans and world-class expertise. Japanese and Filipino engineers work side by side, ensuring safety and quality at every step. This partnership isn't just about money, it's about building local skills for the future. The Philippine government manages the project, tackling tough challenges like land acquisition. Delays have happened but the commitment remains strong. A phased opening lets commuters benefit early, even as work continues. Transparency and teamwork are key to public trust. With Japan's support, the Metro Manila subway is on solid ground. The subway isn't just tunnels, it's about the stations that will reshape the city. 17 modern stations are planned, each a gateway to key destinations. These aren't just transit points, they're vibrant public spaces designed for comfort and accessibility. Major stations like North Avenue will connect with LRT1, MRT3 and future lines, making transfers seamless. Integration is the key, the subway will unlock a true network for Metro Manila. Stations in Ortigas, Bonifacio Global City, and NAAIA will serve business, leisure, and travel needs. Each station is a catalyst for development, encouraging new communities to grow around them. Safety and accessibility are top priorities, with features like elevators, escalators, and platform screen doors. Built to withstand earthquakes and floods, these stations are designed for the long haul. The subway stations will be the new heartbeats of a connected metropolis. How do you dig tunnels under a city without disaster? Enter the Earth Pressure Balance TBM. The secret, maintain pressure on the tunnel face, just like keeping wet sand from collapsing at the beach. As the cutter head grinds forward, excavated soil enters a pressurized chamber matching the pressure outside. This balance keeps the ground stable, preventing cave-ins. A screw conveyor removes the muck, sending it out of the tunnel on conveyor belts. While the front digs, the back builds. Robotic arms install concrete segments forming a waterproof ring. The TBM pushes off this ring to move forward, repeating the cycle. It's a precise, assembly line process, minimizing disruption above. Meter by meter, the subway tunnel takes shape. This technology is what makes modern subway construction possible. It's engineering at its most elegant, hidden but transformative. Building a subway is one thing, 
running it for a century, is another. Enter the Philippine Railway Institute, or PRI, the country's new hub for railway training and research. Developed with Japan, the PRI trains local experts, drivers, technicians, engineers, using simulators and real equipment. The goal end reliance on foreign expertise and build a skilled Filipino workforce. Located next to the subway depot in Valenzuela, the PRI blends classroom and hands-on learning. The first batches of subway staff are already in training. The PRI is an investment in people, ensuring the subway's success for generations. Metro Manila's subway is part of a regional race, joining cities like Singapore, Bangkok, Jakarta, and Hanoi. With 33 kilometers and 17 stations, Manila's project rivals its neighbors in ambition. But building in one of the world's densest, most disaster-prone cities is a unique challenge. Earthquake-resilient tunnels, flood defenses, and advanced engineering set Manila's subway apart. Completing this project will be a landmark achievement for the Philippines. It signals the country's readiness for global investment and modernization. Manila is now a serious contender in Southeast Asia's urban future. When the first subway trains roll out, Metro Manila will be transformed. Commutes that once took hours will take minutes, giving people back precious time. Businesses will thrive with a more mobile workforce, and new hubs will spring up around stations. The subway will cut traffic, reduce pollution, and boost the economy. Fully electric trains mean a greener, healthier city. This is more than infrastructure, it's a symbol of hope and progress. The subway fulfills a promise to generations who dreamed of a better city. As tunnels stretch and stations rise, a new Metro Manila is being born. The city is becoming more connected, sustainable, and ready for the future. The future is arriving, right on schedule.